After buying your first shortboard, you'll probably want to surf some bigger and more powerful waves. To do this, you'll have to get beyond the breaking waves to the out the back zone. To access these waves, you're going to need to duck dive, get yourself beyond the breaking waves. Rule number one of the duck dive, it's going to be necessary to have some speed. So you're paddling out the back and in front of you, you can see quite a big, daunting wave about to break on your head. You're going to want to sink the nose of your board with your arms. To do that, you're going to straighten your arms, bring your chest forward and lean over the nose of that surfboard. Right before that wave is about to make contact with you, you're going to need to create some leverage with your back, knee or leg. So what I mean by that is you're going to kick the tail of your surfboard down, simultaneously ducking your head under that oncoming wave. At this point, you should find yourself fully submerged underneath the water. All you've got to do is resurface by leaning your shoulders and chest back and pulling up on the nose of that surfboard to bring yourself back up to the surface. If you want to duck dive a more powerful wave, you may want to use your foot instead of your knee to gain more power and a deeper duck dive. The most important part about the duck dive is timing. It's all about trial and error and trying to find that balance between getting yourself under the water and that wave passing over the top of you.